Nelson Mandela's time in prison. The racial segregation system called apartheid started in 1948. The people of South Africa were unhappy, to say the least, about this. A group called SAPC, short for South African Communist Party resisted. Nelson Mandela joined the organization secretly, because they were banned. They led a sabotage campaign against the government, and in 1962 he got arrested for conspiring to overthrow the saint. Him and many other anti-apartheid activists got arrested on several occasions for different types of work against the government, but it was all minor however, in 1962, he was sentenced to five years in prison. Nelson begins to serve time at Pretoria local prison, but in 1963 he got transferred to Robben Island, which he ended up spending 27 years in. Originally Nelson Mandela only had to spend five years in prison, but in 1964 he got sentenced to life imprisonment for sabotaging. The 13th of June 1964 he and several other activists arrive on Robben Island. The conditions in the prison were terrible. Every the prisoner had to work many hours, in the burning sun. They were also completely shielded from the outside world, and visits from other people were very limited. Even when Mandela was separated from the outside world, he affected the country. Mandela was offered many times to be released from prison if he had been willing to make certain concessions about his anti-government views, but he did not. Mandela never changed his mind, and thus never did the people. Nelson Mandela's time in prison shaped him as a person, but his viewpoint never did. The 11th of February 1990 Nelson Mandela was finally released from prison. Four years later South Africa had its first democratic election, and Nelson Mandela wins, becoming the country's first ever black president.